Jeffrey thinks his text editor is superior. He's after all tried three of them. Yeah, you use Vib? Only boomers use that. I am way more efficient with Visual Studio Code. I'm not gonna touch anything that looks like a freaking ugly terminal. When was the last time Jeffrey actually took a look on his workflow? Probably a few years ago. I don't need to improve my skills. After all, I know how to jump between words using the control and arrow keys. Like a pro. Jeffrey thinks learning shortcuts is a waste of time. Adonis. Adonis writes code like a throat singing magician. He understands that improving his daily workflow is a process that grows and changes over time. Adonis has tried many text editors over the years and every time he has learned what works for him. <gasps> okay, shout out to Hamza, I completely butchered and stole his intro. I freaking love that guy. I bet 99% of you guys watching this video has an area of text editing that you can greatly improve upon. As a programmer we all go through this journey of finding new ways to write code. For me this journey would have been so much faster if I had a video like this one. I hope that by the end of this video you will take a serious look on the tools you use on a daily basis because it is so worth it to spend just a few days or maybe a week to build up new muscle memory if that means you can edit text faster and maybe even in a more ergonomic way. With so many text editors out there, there must be one that is perfectly tailored to your needs. Yet most of us learn the most popular one. We learn a few shortcuts the first week or month, and two years later, there you are realizing you haven't leveled up your skills at all. As you discover someone else editing code in a way that only can be described as magical, how is this guy writing code so fast? It's how it's done, okay? I can't really say that your text editor sucks, unless you're programming in Notepad. What I am saying is that you're probably not utilizing the power of your text editor. Think about it, when was the last time you learned a new shortcut? For me that was about half a year ago when I learned how to navigate up and down using Ctrl D and Ctrl U. I use that shortcut every single day and I only learned it half a year ago. I'm not gonna waste the time, here are the steps I recommend you to take if you want to improve your text editing experience. Step 1 is to learn model editing. The Vim text editor is a good place to start. If you've already done that, step 2 is to evaluate if there's a skill that you can improve on. Maybe your multi-cursor editing needs improvement, navigating horizontally or vertically. Identify the areas that need improvement and make a plan to level it up. Let's dive into the first step. If you've never tried model editing like Vim, Cocoon, Helix, just do it. Just do it! Once you learn model editing, you probably never want to go back. You can edit text super fast, it is super ergonomic for your hands because you don't have to move your hand back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse every single second. If that isn't reasons enough for you, you also look really badass whilst you're doing it. Could have showed something epic there, but I thought that was funny. I'm badass marketing. Okay, so what is model editing? I'll explain that right now. In a regular so-called modeless text editor, anything you type on the keyboard gets put into the text. There are some shortcuts like control to jump between words, home or end to jump to the end or the start of the line, but a modeless text editor is very bare bones. In a model editing environment, this is exactly how it works in insert mode. When you exit insert mode into normal mode, all the keys you used for typing now acts as a shortcut instead. Model editing is all about jumping between modes. Insert mode to type text, normal mode to navigate code and quickly remove or move text. There's also visual mode where you can modify large amounts of text. Here's some examples. In Vim, if you tap CI bracket, that translates to change inside brackets. The cursor jumps to the correct place, nukes the text inside it and puts you into insert mode. You can tap DD to delete the current line and then tap P to paste it. These shortcuts eventually become tied to your muscle memory and without thinking about it, you're gonna be able to edit text super fast. In this time lapse you'll notice I almost don't move my hands at all and that is because I'm using Vim. There is one issue with model editing though. It's not a big issue because it's the learning curve. The first few weeks of learning model editing, you better prepare for pain. I hope you like pain. Everything will be so much slower at the start. It makes sense though considering you need to learn a bunch of new shortcuts. You'll probably even consider giving up, but trust me, if you sacrifice one or two weeks, things are finally going to click and you will question why you haven't learned it sooner. Okay, I have a confession. The only reason I learned Vim is because I booted it up and I couldn't figure out how to close it. 
That is one joke you'll find hilarious when you learn Vim. I am not a good salesman. Awesome, you have learned model editing. What's next? I think it's a great idea to take a look on your workflow every once in a while. That is what prompted me to make this video. I am now ready to explore other options than using VS Code and the Vim plugin. That has been my programming environment for the last two years. I am super comfortable editing and navigating text thanks to Vim, but I am still lacking in a lot of areas that could make programming more enjoyable. Multiline editing, macros, split view management. Those are things I want to get better at. And whilst I could do all of that in VS Code, I believe it will be healthy for me to try out a new text editor, so that's what I'm doing right now. I've decided to learn one called Helix. Helix is heavily influenced by Vim and Kakoon. I don't know Kakoon, but I know Vim, and I like Vim. I want to figure out if the modern text editors have improved upon Vim. I mean, Vim was released in 1991, oh my God. and it is truly a timeless tool. But surely people must have found many improvements since then. That is why I'm trying out Helix. This is what I'm doing to level up my skills at the moment. Just installing Helix and setting it up required a decent amount of effort. I am now slower than I was with Wim, but I'm sure that a few weeks from now, I will know if Helix is something for me, or if I should go back to VS Code plus Wim, or maybe even try Neo Wim. I've already used Helix for a week now, and I've come to love some of the shortcuts. My favorite thing is having more modes, especially space mode. Here you can access the fuzzy file picker, rename variables or apply code actions super fast. Then there's go to mode that you enter by tapping G, GD for go to definition, GS to move cursor to the start of the line, GL to move the cursor to the end of the line. And these shortcuts is an example of why I'm testing another text editor to explore what other options are out there. Learning the Helix text editor has also gotten me interested in expanding other areas of my workflow. There is a file management application in Linux called Ranger that I'm also trying to learn. Look at me go, what is happening to me? Soon I will tell everyone I'm using Arch Linux. I am not, but am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> There's a severe lack of programmers using model editing, as we can see from this highly scientific poll I made. So I'm spreading the word, I hope you will too. The Vim method has even seen use outside of the text editor context. I use a Vim plugin for Firefox that lets me navigate the internet without a mouse. I actually use that on a daily basis. If I can at least get one person to try out model editing, I'll consider that a win. I recommend starting out learning Vim. Wait a minute, that rhymed too well. And to you who haven't looked on your workflow in a while, do it right now! Also, don't be afraid of checking out new text editors. I might not stick with Helix, but I already know some things I learned from it I will apply to my other text editors in the future. Speaking of workflow, I recommend checking out the video where I tried to survive without a computer mouse for one week. I'm good at marketing, yay! <laughs>